Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chappie with Intense Cycles. And uh, for today's video, we are going to run through the process of doing our DU bushing swap on our sniper. Um, pretty simple, should only take about five minutes or so. Um, and the DU bushing is located right here. Um, some symptoms, if you are having this issue, uh, based off of the tech bulletin that we have sent out, um, you would be able to pull the shock laterally side to side and you'll hear a little click. If your shock does not do that, then you don't have anything to be concerned about. We have an updated bushing, um, thanks to Fox for that. And uh, we're gonna show you the process to swap it out real quick. All right, so with the uh, DU bushing replacement, these are more or less the tools that are required. Um, two five millimeters, your DU tool, whether it be a press style or a threaded style as here. Grease to help hold the um, spacers in place on the top link. And then lastly, a torque wrench with a five millimeter hex bit attached. Just as a precautionary measure, I'm gonna throw a towel in the down tube or anything to cushion in case the shock were to drop or whatever. This is a five millimeter Allen. So you need, you're gonna need two, one on each side. So for my case, I'm gonna use a three way and a five millimeter T handle. Just break it free. And lifting the rear a little bit to unload the bolt. We're gonna slide the bolt out. Let through drop, and then we're gonna push the push the shock down. So we're gonna remove the trunnion shoulder bolts. So same thing, not a bunch of torque on these little guys. Um, you go ahead, break these free on both sides. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove these. So when you take this last bolt out the shock will be free. And one thing to note is there's gonna be two small spacers. So if you stick your hand under here, um, they may fall out, they may not. Depends on how glued, they, glued in they are with just grease. Um, you can pull them out by hand just so we don't lose them. As you can see there. All right, so as you can see here, we have the shock with the old hardware. Um, and the easiest way to determine that is you'll see these two tan little spacers. Uh, that's actually the bushing itself. Um, this is what is going to be removed. What will be installed is this little kit that you'll be getting uh, with the new DU bushing and two spacers to go along with it. A little tighter fit, don't have that lateral movement with this setup. First thing we'll do is uh, just with your fingers, just pull these little caps off. Then you should be able to push with your finger or with um, any type of like center punch or a drift, you could just push this old hardware out. We will keep this for reuse in the new system. Um, so now we have, as you can see, the bushings. So we'll take the tip of whatever tool we're using, a drift, a punch, or an Allen. We'll get it started. And you should be able to just do it, do it as so. Just do a little slight pry motion. So next step is we're gonna be putting the new hardware in. So you'll notice on the bushing, it's a rolled piece of steel, so there's a, there's a seam on it. That seam is gonna go towards the bottom of the shock. And then we will take our DU installation tool to make sure that seam again is towards the bottom of the shock. Put this bad boy on, 13 mil wrench. Tighten this bad boy in. So just make sure both sides are flush. And once we have it to where we want it, go ahead and crack the press free. All right, so we have the shock here with the DU bushing installed. As you can see here, it's nice and flush with the surface of the uh, eyelet. Make sure that's centered. Grab our shock hardware. Now press it through and get it started. And then kind of a little trick is to put the spacer on the top end or on the finishing end, as you can see. And then you can just apply pressure, get it in there. And with that spacer on that side, it only allows the hardware to go through as far as it actually needs to go. So just that press, throw this on there, and there we go. We're gonna go ahead and put some grease on the two little small spacers that go between the bearing and the shock. These little bits of grease are simply just to hold the spacers in place. Go ahead and just slide it in there. 
and set it in place and that will hold it in place, make your life a little easier. With those spacers in place being held by the grease, we can just simply line everything up, line up that bolt hole. We're gonna take our trunnion shoulder bolts, slide it into the bearing bore and uh, use your judgment to line everything up. So go ahead, we'll get those started. All right, so now we're gonna come with our front mount shock bolt. I'm gonna slide the shock up into the shock tabs. I'm gonna pick the rear up, line it up as best as you can, and then slide the shock bolt through. Once that's through, you can let go of the rear and everything will stay in place. We're gonna take the male side of the shock bolt, thread it in again, starting by hand. I'm gonna take our wrenches, and we're just going to snug it up because we're gonna come back afterwards and retorque with the torque wrench. Same thing here, just give it a little snug, as well as on the other side. We're gonna come back with our torque wrench. And as you can see on the trunnion shoulder bolts, we have a call out of 16 Newton meters. So we're gonna set our torque wrench at 16 and in clockwise direction. So that particular bolt is 10 Newton meters. So we're gonna drop this guy all the way back down. We're gonna take our additional five millimeter. Um, one thing to note is you always torque on the male side of the bolt, never torque on the shank or the female side of the bolt. We're set at 10 Newton meters. Let me go ahead and just give this guy a little torque. Two clicks, that's all you need. And there you have it. Alrighty, so now that we've uh, gone ahead and replaced the DU bushing hardware in your sniper shock, um, you should not have any more knocking issues or bushing issues um, in the future. Always feel free to contact us at techcenter at intensecycles.com or any one of our contact forms on the website. If you do have this issue with the forward mount DU bushing on the sniper shock, um, feel free to contact us, submit a claim on our website and we'll get you taken care of right away. We have the tech bulletin out, which is available on our website for viewing as well. You should have received it in the mail if you are a sniper customer. Uh, with that, we'll take care of whatever it needs to be taken care of to make sure your bike is performing at its best. A note on this is it's not a warranty, it's not a recall, it's not anything, it's just a simple performance enhancement. We noticed knocking during testing over an extended period of time, and we wanna make sure no one else experienced that anymore. So being proactive with this, we wanna get this out, make sure everybody's sorted, make sure everybody gets the parts they need so we don't have any any issues in the future and you're as happy as you can be on your uh, new sniper. So, like I said, any questions, feel free to hit us up and uh, happy trails.